Don't you hate it when you open the fridge, but you have too many options, so you don't know what to eat? But when your fridge only has like three items, it's so easy to pick what you want. Please don't judge my fridge. This is the same with a closet. The more options we have, the harder it is to decide what to wear. Hi, my name is Michael Chen, and today I'll show you 12 outfits inspired by the legendary Japanese designer Yoji Yamamoto, made with only 8 items. This is the backbone of all the fits in the video, it's extremely versatile. And honestly, a lot of Yoji's pants look very similar and can be styled in the same exact way. There might be slight variations in the material or cut, but since Yoji is so consistent, they are easily interchangeable in your outfits. This particular pant is cotton with drawstrings and a slanted side pocket on the left leg. The second item is a simple tank top from Uniqlo. It's the Arizona tank top. It's super cheap, super light. I recently picked up this super interesting double layered shirt from Yoji's Diffusion Light label Wise. It has a black mesh inner which provides some interesting texture and a cool double color look. It also has an outside layer. The outside layer is quite interesting because there are slits here. This is the most avant-garde piece, so it's harder to style and less versatile, but it does provide a lot of needed excitement. I love grey and I love linen. Here's a linen shirt from Muji. Super easy to style, super simple. Here's a white dress shirt from Uniqlo. It's super classy, super easily elevates your style. This is a Uniqlo Theory collab from a few years back. It's a Cuban color shirt and it has a slight boxy fit that fits really well with Yoji's stuff. This jacket is also from Yoji Yamamoto. My favorite part is the longer length. It really helps with the flow and the defining a more Japanese style silhouette. And for the last item, I just have a simple black boot from RM Williams. I don't really like combat style boots, so that's why I prefer a Chelsea boot. And I find Chelsea boots are also easier to style up in more dressy situations. I also have a few accessories that I'll use. One of them is a black tie from Balmain. I have a few silver jewelry pieces from Hatton Labs. A porter crossbody bag and also an Acme Studios tote bag. And to finish off the look, I also have an off-white belt. Styling is super simple with a capsule wardrobe. Let me show you how. Here's the first outfit. Super simple, just a tank top with the pants and the belt. Looks pretty good. Now, if you're getting cold, you can add the gray shirt on top. I would cuff the arms, and I also cuff the pants as well. It gives off a very different look. If you want something more elegant, you can switch the shirt for a jacket like this. If we combine outfits 2 and 3, this is what we get. A completely different vibe. It's much more elevated, much more formal than before. And it's so easy. For outfit number 5, let's try a different shirt. This one is completely different. It's very striking, isn't it? The mesh really adds some interesting details. And look at that double collar. This is what it looks like buttoned up. Personally, I prefer using the rules of thirds, so I'm going to put a belt on this. This is what it looks like with a belt. Not bad, right? Sometimes the stripes are a little too bright and loud. 
So what if we put a black jacket over it? It really tones down the previous outfit, doesn't it? I find belts really help with proportions. It makes you look taller. It's quite nice. Let's try something classier. Here's a white dress shirt. You can untuck it, or you can choose to tuck the dress shirt. This is what it looks like with the dress shirt tucked and the sleeves cuffed. It looks much more formal. I think you can make do in pretty formal situations with this attire. No one can tell that these pants are more casual because Yoji's pants they fit for every situation. This is outfit number 9. I put a tie on and put the jacket on. It looks much more formal. Fun fact, ties are one of my favorite accessories, especially when you're not supposed to be wearing a tie. I love wearing ties on those occasions. And notice that this jacket has holes for your hands to go through. Pretty cool. Outfit number 10, I just switched the jacket for this shirt. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. You can also zip up the inner shirt to give it some more dimension. So now people are looking through the shirt and seeing the tie. This is definitely the weirdest outfit today, but it's pretty nice. For our final two outfits, let's do all black because Yoji loves black. So here is the Cuban color shirt on top of the tank top and the same pants. How do you guys feel about the long belt? Recently, a lot of Sakai's pants have an extended belt and I really love that. So I'm trying to recreate the same styling with these pants and belt. You can also wear a bag with this, like all the fits. How does it look? Very functional, very stylish. And for the final outfit, we're just going to add the black jacket and the bag with it. And here is all black. How does it look? Fun little side story, when I went inside a Yolji store with the black Cuban shirt, they actually thought it was Yolji product. So it shows that it really goes well with the rest of the stuff. That's 12 outfits with just 8 different items. Wasn't that simple? You can do it too. What was your favorite outfit? Comment it down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.